I was reading an extra copy of a college magazine that I happened across, and so it's a poem written by Karina McGlynn that I encountered on one of the pages, and it reads, I'm such a Scorpio. I want to haunt you into loving me. I want the heavy lace hem of my nightgown to brush your bare feet with fresh dew from the moors. I want you to spend the rest of your life hearing my song ripping through chimneys, my mad footsteps pacing the attic above you, my best dress, a plume of plasma descending the stairs to a coronation that will never happen. I'm running my icy fingers down the length of the verso. I'm tapping lightly on the paper that divides us. I heard it, I need you to know. I have a way to cut a door in the poem and step through it. It's just this sheet that divides us. It's just nothing. I see you. You can warm me. Will you let me in? Whereupon I was so incensed by this poem that I wrote the following in the margins. Overly expressive, overly carnal. No, you cannot see me. No, I cannot warm you. You are far away. You understand the power of communication, clearly, but not enough about semiotics to begin to grasp its limits. A poem that makes me feel violated is fine. I've enjoyed many which do this. But the quality of this one was already shit, caught up in malifors and purple prose, but then you foist responsibility onto me. Instead of putting lasting, coherent imagery in my head, you put all of the responsibility onto my imagination, all the while sneering with the implication that you have actually conjured imagery in me, whereas you've really just quoted other poems you could have written. Precisely through your own failure, have you indeed haunted your way into me? This poem is an unsolicited dick pic. You have not earned your right to take up space in my mind, and yet you not only claim it implicitly by taking up space on my page, but explicitly asking me to warn you. I feel invaded, assaulted, insulted.